Hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick video on this. I had a subscriber ask a question about how um, power comes in from generators and um, solar and how you can mix it all up and have all kinds of different possibilities. So I've got tons of possibilities. It's pretty complicated, but I'm just going to run through it. And if you have to watch it a couple of times, uh, that's okay, right? So basically we got solar power, right? The sun comes in to the charge controllers charges this battery bank lithium iron phosphate 30 kilowatt hours it's pretty good size and that runs these two inverters right and uh, that puts out about 9,000 watts all that inverter power comes out on this breaker so I have a breaker 125 amp breaker on the output the output comes down here and it goes into this output panel right the output panel has three separate breakers in it and each one of these has a transfer switch on it. I got a 30 amp and two 50 amp transfer switches. Three all together. Let's look at just the first one, 30 amp breaker, right? That guy pipes over here, comes over to our 30 amp transfer switch. So now this guy has power from the utility right here. So it's got power from the utility. It's got power from solar at all times. That means I can come over here and switch from utility to solar just like that or back to utility on any one of these individual circuits. That means our house can be running partially off the utility and partially off solar all the time and we can select however we want to do that. That's really powerful. Uh, just a quick note, this is old school. The new all-in-one systems do all of this and they do it more programmable automatic. Not all of them, but some of the more advanced ones. So these are the 250s. I'll insert a little picture of those. I put those in about eight years ago. All right, so that's kind of the output. Now let's talk about the input. Like how do you get generators and all this other stuff in to come in? So I have a separate transfer switch for that. Now this guy, it can take, I have a plug on the outside wall, 50 amp, uh, and it can take that uh, generator power in from any number of generators. I've got, I think I have four of them, like gas, diesel, propane, right? And you can't have both of these on at the same time. It's either generator or it's utility. Okay, so that power would come in, rolls through here, and then I have sort of three options. Um, I could turn off my inverters and just bypass this entire system so I could take, you know, that uh, any generator, bypass the system, and pump it right into the house. Or I can turn on my two chargers, and then I could use it to just charge the battery bank. Or if I turn on both of those, then I can charge the bank and pipe it through to the house at the same time. Okay, so that's all the generators. Now, what if I want to just pull utility in here? Well, first of all, why would you want to put utility into your solar? Uh, the reason is almost never, like I've done it twice in eight years, and it's when it's nighttime, your battery bank is low, and there's a storm coming. So you'd want to turn on, well, let's go ahead and do it. So over here, we got 60 amps, comes from the utility. Now that's piped over to here, throw that on. So now we've got that utility coming into our system we could bypass it and run the house, but what we want to do is just charge our battery bank up in case our power goes out. So when I turn these on, you're going to hear it switch from inverters to the utility. That's what it'll do first. Uh, did you see that flicker? Now it's going to turn on the chargers. It's qualifying that power right now, making sure it's clean. Boom. Inverters are off. Uh, the AC from the utility now is passing right through here. That's powering the house. And in a few seconds, you'll see the amount of current that's going into the batteries will ramp up, probably to about 100 amps, depending on how I have it set. So it's gonna, you know, it's charging those batteries up now. Okay, so, I mean, there's all kinds of options, right? I can bring in the utility. I can bring in any number of generators. I, mean, I could even bring a solar generator in, right? Plug in, plug in here, plug in a generator extension cable, run it around to the outside, 
switch the generator and I'd be pumping this all through the house. You know, all kinds of options. So anyway, just wanted to show you this and hopefully that'll answer some questions. Uh, I think I mentioned the newer versions of this, they, they have all this built in and it's programmable. Uh, pretty advanced stuff, but this is how it used to be done and works good for me. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.